Figure 4.6 in Boundy shows a very complicated component that Boundy calls a box tool holder. Because it's very complicated, we had it made in the workshops um, so you could visualize the component easier. If you just take a minute to have a look at the detail, detail of it. If we just go over to the drawing now, that's the front elevation. Uh, if you j just spend some time looking at it, the, these are the raised yellow bits here on the drawing with our little semicircular cutout. The main, s main cutout in the center is that one, and the two grooves m going away from it. Over on the left view, you come over here, just rotating that round. Oh. Okay, these are the two screw holes at the top shown shown here. Uh, this detail here is shown quite clearly. The, the, the curved part there. We've got a bar coming out of the end. Uh, notice the little groove here, that's a blue groove down the bottom. Now we have a face up here that we want to get the true shape of. Uh, we have some detail at the top, some screw holes, so it's pretty important that we get the right distances there. So we go to an auxiliary view for that. First of all, we go back to the, f the front elevation, because on the front elevation, that plane there is the face that we want, and it's going straight into the page. So we can just rotate round on that, that, comp that face to get our auxiliary view. Okay. Here we can see the two screw holes here, the two screw holes in there. The, that face there is shown here. Um, we have this little cutout here, which is shown, shown there. Now, the, the workshop were just given this drawing, as we've got it here, and they managed to make this component purely from this do drawing here. So there is sufficient information to make a reasonable model from it.